Hello everyone, this is Nijobit and in this video, let's learn how to build a waste classification robotica that uses machine learning to detect the type of waste and classify it as organic or inorganic waste. The project uses Raspberry Pi along with the camera to take images of the waste product and then uses a machine learning model to classify it as organic or inorganic waste. I'm going to show you how we build this robotic arm along with the working of the controller. And I'm also going to show you how we deployed a machine learning model to classify the waste. But before we do that, let me introduce you the sponsors of this video, DigiKey. DigiKey is a global leader in cutting edge component distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.9 million components from over 3000 manufacturers with products in stock available for immediate ship. Also with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your products will arrive on time and in top condition. So do remember to check out DigiKey for your next project. Let's start by building our robotic arm first. You will be needing these electromechanical components and to put them all together, we will need these 3D printed parts. You can assemble the robot like it is shown here. Now that the robotic arm is ready, let's look at this controller board to which we have connected three stepper motors and the servo motor. To understand better, let's look at the schematics for this controller board. This ESP32C6 SOC here is the main brain of our circuit. It used to for controlling our robotic arm and even has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities if needed for future use. Next we have these three stepper motor driver modules namely TMC2209 from analog devices which are used to precisely control the stepper motors on our robotic arm. Then we have the LM2596 switching regulator IC that can provide a fixed 5V output. This fixed 5V is also given to the ADP711 linear voltage regulator which outputs 3.3V for the ESP32 SOC. And we also have max 6 a one voltage supervisor IC here for making sure the ESP32 SOC boots up properly. This controller board has a Type-C USB port that can connect to a Raspberry Pi here. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 development board with 4 GB of RAM. And connected to this Pi is a camera placed on our robotic arm here. It's a USB 2.0 mini webcam from C technology. How the setup works is the Raspberry Pi monitors the object placed in front of the camera and uses machine learning to classify the object as organic or inorganic waste. This result is then given to the ESP32 controller board through serial communication which then instructs the robotic arm to pick up the waste and place it in respective bin. So there are two programs that are required here. First the Arduino code for the ESP32 and then the Python script for the Raspberry Pi. First, we have included two libraries that are necessary to control the stepper and the servo motors. Then we have defined the pins used to control the servo and stepper motors, followed by initializing the instances for them and declaring the other global variables. After that, in the setup function, 
we have initialized the CDC serial port for communication. In the loop function, the ESP32 SOC will continuously check for the message from the Raspberry Pi. Whenever a message indicating the detected object is received, the controller will assign it to the organic or inorganic category based on the detected object. After that, it will call the execute command function which will then control the robotic arm to pick up the object and place it in the appropriate bin using the move to position and set gripper functions. This will repeat for every object that is detected by the camera. Now we need to run a Python script on our Raspberry Pi to detect the type of waste and send instructions to our ESP32 boot. We are going to use the waste classification machine learning model from RoboFlow that can identify and classify the waste into one of these seven classes. To deploy this model on our Raspberry Pi, we will be using the inference SDK Python package. On a fresh install of Raspberry Pi, use the shown Linux commands to install the OpenCV and the inference SDK packages. We will be using these two packages in our Python program. After importing the required packages, we have configured the serial port for communication and have also configured the webcam for image capture. Then the RoboFlow model URL and the API keys are added, which can be obtained from the RoboFlow website. In the while loop, the script will capture the image and will send it to the RoboFlow for classification. When the response is received from the RoboFlow, the script will decode the response and will display the results. If a valid label is received, the script will send it to the controller board using the serial port and the rest will be handled by the controller board. Now that we have everything ready, let me show you how the project works. Make sure the camera and the ESP32 controller board is connected to the Raspberry Pi. Provide a separate power supply for the controller board to drive the robotic arm and power on the Raspberry Pi. Open the Python script that was explained earlier. Ideally, the waste should come in on a conveyor, but let's place the waste manually here and press on enter. The Pi classifies the type of waste placed and instructs the robotic arm to pick it and place it in the respective box. Then place the next object and the same thing repeats. That's it guys. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something useful. Have a great day and bye bye. Digikey.